I have, I have a question. Oh, you were doing it. I thought you weren't going to do it. Sorry. Go ahead. Mm. I got nothing. <laughs> in the intro. The train here in <laughs> Spanish guy showed me his phone, and it was just a, a picture of Penn Station. He was asking me how to get there. Oh, really? Mm. Did you lead him there? I, uh, I just I told him in English, and he said, no, 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 no. So then I mouthed the words, <laughs> which made it way worse. I didn't know what to do. What do you do in that situation? Hey, louder. I thought you did a good job, weren't? Didn't you say like three stops? Yeah, I finally got to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we were together, by the yeah. way. So why didn't you I talk also to the Spanish there. guy? You're by. I was. Uh, I stood up in case any pregnant women or anything wanted to sit down. Katie noble. Took a seat. Yeah. Very noble. Yep. Damn. So you communicated to the man. You thought he did good. I wasn't paying attention. All I heard was him looking at him go three stops. Three. Trace. Mm. Trace, that would work too. In the intro, is is the farter anonymous? I think it's Jerry. You think it's Jerry? Because the, the, the farter is the only person we don't see their face. Let's uh, check it out. See everybody else, and I don't know that we know who the farter is. It's just an ass. That's, That's Jerry. That's Jerry. Because Jerry is the one that we can see. Thanks for sweats. Huh. Is that the actual fart sound? It must be from one of the farts on the front wheel. Real fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have chat GPT script the show. <gasps> what the hey, fuck? What? Wait, did you overhear Kate? What? She just oh. pitched that. To, she asked how. She asked yeah. talk to me about it this morning. I want to add oh. it to the wheel. But what is, what is a script, fully scripted show? We feed um, one of those apps that like you because people can. Like, I gave a thousand scripts of Seinfeld to this computer bot, and it wrote a new Seinfeld script. I want to submit a bunch of episodes of The Yak to one of these computer bots, I don't know the terms, and have it spit out a script that we have to do a scripted Yak based off what a computer thinks The Yak is. Does that mean we have to transcribe The Yak? To feed it, or do we just show it the video? I don't. I was just. Yeah, what hoping, do we feed them? I was hoping TJ would know what to do. I think at this then you can point, just enter in on yeah, ChatGPT. It's like smart enough for you if you just said like take the Barstool Sports Show, the Yak, and create an episode based on it or something like that. It would figure it out. Can we try yeah. it right now? Oh, they're that good. Yeah, you, let's yeah. try. How do you get on ChatGPT? Oh, it's just a website. But yeah, I think it would be really fun to do a scripted, a it would be dope. generated scripted episode. Damn, parallel thinking. I know. It's crazy. Now you know it's a good I, good idea, maybe. Could yeah. be terrible. There's a wow. really good point on the uh, the prep sheet today. Uh, what is your most regrettable video or piece of content at Barstool? Oh, man. Jesus. Oh, well. I just saw Kate get confronted about a piece of content. Yes. <laughs> yep. Morning sunshine. I wasn't joking about yelling at Rhea, and it's actually worse. It was actually worse than I thought it was. It was way worse. I don't remember calling her a stupid fucking bitch. 50 times. 50 times, she said. What was that? You called Rhea a stupid yeah, fucking bitch? Yeah, yeah. Like in a sarcastic? Um. Or real? Huh. Um. <laughs> no. What was it? Sound like you're in bright eyes. <laughs> it was a joke gone horribly wrong, and I was drunk. Well, enough. you got to explain it. You got to explain it. I think it'll give better context. Yeah, she was wearing this green jacket during the Eagles game, and in the beginning of the night, I was like, that's the lucky green jacket. And so when we lost and they handed me the mic, I switched. And I was like, guess that jacket wasn't so lucky. Maybe that's why we lost. And I was like, in my head, I was like, really play this angle up. That'll be hilarious for the video. And to me, one of the funniest things is when you just drive a, an idea into the ground. Mm-hmm. When you a joke is dead and you keep killing it, the more you do that, it's annoying to everyone. But I like that's my so I started yelling at her. And I guess I was so drunk that I really started yelling at her. And yeah, she said I called her like a stupid fucking bitch like 50 times. Uh, to which at first she was like, I thought it was a joke at first. And then by the end, she, I like genuinely, it was upsetting. I'm sweating and turning red there thinking about it? it. There's video of it that will never see the light of oh. day. But I remember like screaming into the mic. I was like, I'm going to burn this thing into the ground and then I turned to look and laugh at the end and she was gone oh. and I, that's when I knew I was like I don't know what I just did but it was bad um, that's why I was like so anxious on Monday I was sweating think about it was this recently? this was on Sunday night did you guys squash the beef? yeah I just apologized to her 
Oh, I man. Like, I was afraid to look at her. I was in a TikTok squad with her. I re- those were funny. Oh, my God. Uh, by my. Team six. <laughs> yeah, Stool Team Six. <laughs> I, I, I had first started at Barstool, and you, Stool Team Six was a thing, and they brought me on as a consultant. <laughs> I was not allowed. I was not one of the six. They never followed me. What a run. Uh, those were very, I thought they were funny. It, well, I don't think we we had <laughs> meetings every day to do TikToks, and I I wanted to be I wanted it to be Stool Team Seven so bad, but I was I was fresh blood. I had to make sense. My yeah, stripes, yeah. The wordplay didn't didn't hit. No. What oh. killed that? COVID. COVID killed that. I think that. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just naturally died. Yeah. I have some. I have some <laughs> Travis submissions. <gasps> Actually, I have a massive Travis submission. A massive Travis, wait, but you, you made, wait. He Travis? made that singular. You got a big ass Travis. Well, actually, both. He's he's massive. He's funny, and he's has a following. No, if this is who attainable. I think it is, massive Travis is a good name. Who is it? Travis Kelsey. No. Oh, <laughs> oh he got me. Is it, uh, you dumb bitch. <laughs> you stupid, stupid dumb bitch. bitch. Come on now. That <laughs> uh, does hurt. That <laughs> does stink to hear. That was only three uh, of them. That was only three. Imagine that That's 17. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Ron, is his stage name also a food? No. Oh. Well, who is it? He does have a stage name. The dude Nems. The guy who's like, fuck your life. Oh, Keep yeah. banging. Oh, his name is Travis? Yes, bro. He's a Travis. He used to be a battle rapper. He's super funny. His manager reached out and was like, let's work. Wait, the Joe Biden guy? Yes. Joe oh. Byron. I mean, bing bong. Yeah, that yeah. guy? I mean, uh, yeah, the bing bong is from the other uh, videos, but he was in those side talk videos. Yeah. And he does his own shit. Nims. Oh. Fuck your life. Would he be willing to go by Travis? I mean, they. he, he was introduced to me as a Travis. I don't think he'd change his like rap name, but I, he is a Travis deep down. He might have to change that rap name, though. But he's he's more famous than you. This is a Travis competition, Ron. I don't know what to tell I you. I know. I'm saying, bro. It's fucking tough. Know. TJ, can I text you my Travis videos? Or things okay. Mississippi. I, Ron, I was talking about Taco. Is that what that stands for? Oh, Taco? Yeah. From uh, Odd Future? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dude, he's very funny, too. But yeah. neither of them claim Travis. And rappers try to get out of the name Travis probably because they know it's so unfunny. They mm-hmm. get. And it's also claimed Sam by Clemens. Scott. Oh, Travis. Also Scott. true. Also true. Scott Travis, great rapper. This guy was a Nems Scott before. Travis. Mm-hmm. Scott Travis. Scott Travis used to be what we we call like the uh, lead singer of pop punk. That was his like pseudonym. Really? Travis Scott and Scott Travis. Can we pull up the uh, Travis Tritt single album cover for what's his what's his big hit? Rives cooking in the yeah. microwave. Uh, day to be alive. First of all, Travis yeah. Tritt had a lot of great hits. Yeah, yeah, but this is his biggest hit. One think, of the more I think underrated. Travis Tritt, young Travis Tritt has the same. No, 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 not that oh, one. Oh yeah, look at not that. Oh, uh, it's younger. You you want to talk about like um? Oh, here's a quarter. Great, yeah, that quarter. first one. Day to be alive. Kind of looks like Tom Lay. He's a beautiful man. Yeah. Same face as Tom, Tom I don't know about that. No, no, no. Same eyes, same face. That's a guy who oh, would fuck he does, up Darts yeah. Day. You think he'd fuck up Darts Day? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think Darts Day was invented for a guy like that. Yep. Yeah. I think that's very hurtful to Tom Lay. Tom Lay, I think you're considerably more handsome. Oh, yeah. Than that. Definitely. Oh, he's, yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Travis Tritt, very successful man. I don't yeah. Think Tom Lay pulls to Travis off Lay. Beer Travis Tritt's a bad thing. I think it is. He's born and raised in New York. Cool, hardened guy. I know he has a good voice. Like he has a little rasp to his shit. Thick beard, good Intimidates hair. Intimidates the hell out of me. Pretty eyes. Knows who he is. Good taste. I love Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt We're over here, fucking comparing people to Travis Tritt. My mom fucked him. Your mom fucked Travis Tritt. What? What happened? <laughs> Damn. I'd like to know. Your more. mom seemed lovely from the still photo I saw of her at the Mississippi State game. Oh yeah, she was. Anybody here? I met know? her once yeah. here you? at the office, and she was so sweet and lovely. Yeah. She's a tiny woman. Yeah, she's like five she's two. A tiny lady. Five two. Hey, Great hair though. That's not tiny. You just uh, for, yeah. She's much smaller than me. Five two. It's, it's up there. <laughs> I have some AI. <gasps> oh. Yeah, this is awesome. So far, so good. Sports banter. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm with this. It's related. So, did anybody read it to the people? Oh, you're or? up, Brandon. You're out your lines. Okay, I'll be big cat. Welcome back to the Yak. We are here to talk about everything sports related and beyond. Today, we have an amazing lineup for you guys with the usual suspects and some special guests. Oh, shit. That's right, big cat. 
We have KB, <laughs> Rainey, Roan, this is a live show. Will Sass and Kate joining us today. It's going to be a fun show. Hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just do this. I can't fucking see. I love this. So what's on the agenda for today, Big Cat? Well, we have a lot to talk about from the Super Bowl to the NBA and everything in between. But first, let's get the drinks flowing. <laughs> oh. Read it out loud. Read the, read the directions for Holding her, her drink. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Others well, toast, they one. take a sip. Was, this is scene two, Super Bowl recap. So let's start with the Super Bowl. What were your guys' thoughts on the game? <sighs> it was a snooze fest in my opinion. The Chiefs didn't show up and the Bucks dominated <laughs> from start to finish. <laughs> yeah, it was disappointing. I was expecting a shootout between Brady and Mahomes, but it turned out to be a one-sided affair. <laughs> I was rooting for the Chiefs, but they let me down. They couldn't get anything going on offense, and their defense was a disaster. <laughs> I had money on the Bucks, so I was happy with the outcome. <laughs> Typical KB. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're good. I thought the halftime show was great, though. The weekend killed it. Yeah, the halftime show was one of the few highlights of the game, but let's move on to some NBA talk. <laughs> Act one, scene three, NBA discussion. Oh, man. Uh cast members began to discuss the current state of the NBA from the top teams to emerging stars. <laughs> <laughs> the Nets are the team <laughs> to beat in the East, in my opinion. KD, Harden, Kyrie, a lethal trio. Kyle's so sassy in this. Yeah, Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. The Sixers are the... Oh, I can't read it. Sixers are the best team in the East. Yeah. Joel Embiid is... He's the MVP, and Ben Simmons is a defensive stud. <laughs> As a Lakers fan, I have to say that we're still the team to beat in the West. LeBron and AD are healthy, and we have some solid role players. <laughs> I'm a Celtics fan, so I'm biased, but I think Jason Tatum is on the verge of superstardom. He's a beast. I'm excited to see what <laughs> how do you, Lamella, 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 Lamella. Lamella Ball can do in the league. He's been balling out lately. <laughs> Kate, smiling. I <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. That's all. Pretty that's good. pretty accurate. Yeah, that's pretty wow. good. Nick was a Lakers fan. Yeah. yeah, knew I was a Lakers fan. I forgot I was a Celtics fan. But I wonder if it like if a chat like really studied several of the episodes. I don't know how computers work. Like, would it throw in a fast banana? Would it throw in Why is it sports knowledge three years behind? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All those dudes are off the nets now. Yeah. My homes is well, he's back in the Oop. headlines, my homes. But uh, Tom Brady has retired. That shit was dope, though. Yeah. Damn, they... We're going to be out of jobs. Yep. Yeah, when did this start? When did this technology start? That's pretty Very crazy. Recently. So it just went through a YouTube episode? Probably. Can we give it a different subject? Like, tell us, tell it we're a different kind of show yeah. and see yeah. what it gives us? So fart show. So for that one, I we're show said, about we're show about farts. Yeah, that one I said write a script for a play based on write a script for a play based on the Barstool Sports Show, The Yak, starring Big Cat, Brandon Walker, KB, Nick, Rones. Yeah. So I'd like Barstool the show to be about sports. farts. So write a fart script. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. So yeah. the yeah. the creator of Chat GPT <clears throat> apparently carries carries around this blue backpack with him everywhere, just in case the AI becomes self aware. He has like a nuke button for it. Really? Yeah. Jesus. What? Who is this guy? How much is that worth? I don't know. I think Google Apparently. tried to buy it or Google did buy it. I, I read something that it's like it like however much it's worth, it reached that amount of money faster than like any other social media platform has ever done. And people are blaming that for like all of the layoffs at all these tech companies because they're gonna be replaced by it. Damn. I don't know. It's right. I don't know if the backpack thing is true, if I could get fact checked on that, but I no, I'd prefer I don't know to if believe the money it. thing I like is true either. That. I don't know if most things that I say are true. I just say them. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> One of the first things to go will be copywriters, though. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but they uh, – actually, that was my buddy is getting trying to get a copywriting job, and he said he had to do, like, a presentation about how he can, like, offer more of, like, a personable, like, experience, experience. than uh, Chappie GBT. Like, that was, like, a, like that was like two weeks ago he had to do that, and this came out, like, a month ago. Yeah. I just saw Light Switch Lou tweeting at Greeny that he was going to be replaced by Chat GPT. <laughs> 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 it's, like, angrily oh, about man. the Celtics. <laughs> misplaced hate about the Eagles losing the Super Bowl. Wait, can we get 
chat GPT to write a Barstool uh, blog yeah. and throw it up. A greenie blog? Uh, See how well it does? Oh, yeah. A mincy blog? It has to be a mincy blog. I don't know. I don't know if I it'll don't, be I kinda wanna, Who would be somebody that we could throw up and they wouldn't really... I want a teacher sex scandal. <laughs> It might not write about that. It doesn't write about certain things. Right. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Would smut? Would it still do a smut blog? Yeah. Can you write least? about like a perfect set of titties? Right. <laughs> if we if we trained the AI to just do that here, I think Mincy's writing are. style is consistent enough that he frames everything around himself that it might be able to pick it up relatively easily. I'm pretty sure you could be like write a blog about farts in the voice of Dave Portnoy. Like something yeah. like that. I'm. I would like to see that. But farts and titties might be off limits, though. Yeah, farts probably aren't. Mm. Titties might be. Well, they said the new Go- stupid country Bing, which is like I guess Microsoft's version of Google or whatever. Yeah. It's yeah. Not- yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is it? Yes. I don't know. Wait, Wait, Bing. I don't Very know. obvious. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not it's released yet, but they said. What? Oh, Bing. Bing's been out forever. No, no, the Bing has. But there's a new version coming uh, where. Uh, <laughs> Basically, you'll be able to be like, hey, I'm making um, lasagna tonight for my girlfriend. I would like three sides. Here's the foods she doesn't like. Here's a couple things she likes. And instead of giving you links to click, there won't be any like links anymore. It'll just give you one fucking answer. Here's the salad you're going to go with. Here's the whatever based off like everything you just told me. Um, and then like you can click stuff if you want, but it like the answers will be given to you right there. I like that. Yeah, I like that. For like too. hyper specific. Tell me what to do. Can we get Chat yeah. GPT to do a Roan Notes app apology to me, Kyle, and dozen fans. Ah. That would be yeah, I think that's doable. I think that's fair. Do they think do we do we have to preload the transgressions? Yeah. I think I probably owe more than just just you guys an apology, but we can start there. <laughs> a little bit of accountability up front. I could get that cooking, what'd you say? An apology from Adam Ferrone for throwing a cactus at Ky- to Kyle, uh, bending the rules of the dozen trivia competition, cheating, and for pelting America's sweetheart in the face with a football <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, he- when he's at his most vulnerable, supporting Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just how I've read it. I, that was not from me. I'm just regurgitating <laughs> what I've read. <laughs> Act us at Kyle. Uh, yeah. First and foremost. To, 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 Kyle. to Kyle. I feel like that changes. Yeah. Can you emphasize two? <laughs> no. Me and Ron are good. He gave me a dollar today. I, I gave, appreciate that, Ron. Multiple people a dollar. Why? Just trying to get rid of dollars? A little bit of a prank. Ooh. Keep everyone on their toes around here. It's working. Going back to the old bar stool. Nice. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean. Cheating in the b- doesn't show up in b- b- mm-hmm. Arizona. Mm-hmm. I also uh, ran roughshod around the office throwing scissors to people. You love Ooh. running roughshod, though. Put pins in Frank Borelli's chair. <laughs> Gave Sass several gifts that he'll never wear. Was that you who put a frog in my pocket earlier? Was that? No, but I did crush up chips uh. and put them in KB's pocket. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he did yeah. do that. <laughs> in my jacket pocket. In your jacket. Filled <laughs> with crumbs. <laughs> yeah. Filled with crumbs. When also, in Arizona. How did I ha- oh, no, this never is- bring that up after the fact? <laughs> he also opened water bottles and flipped them over and put them on Tommy's desk so that when he tried to move them, they were there. That was a good one. Um, there's got to be more sh- shit that I did. <laughs> Making that noise, thinking of all the fucked up shit you've done. Oh, no. <laughs> Who else did I fuck with? What What are my other trespasses? <laughs> you ripped up the mm. toilet paper in the bathroom. No, I never did that. That was definitely you. No, I know the sanctity of a clean butthole, and that's something you I- uh, sucked Feidelberg's dick through a glory hole. Here's the. Uh, oh, it's writing it right now. The ruse. <laughs> okay, accountability. There are several instances I need to apologize for. <laughs> I want to start by saying how truly sorry I am for my actions. I know that I have let you all down and I take full responsibility for my behavior. There are several incidents that I need to apologize for and I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. First and foremost, I want to apologize to KB for throwing a cactus at him. Uh, no. <laughs> that was completely unacceptable and I understand it could have caused some serious harm. I also want to apologize for cheating in the dozen Battle of Arizona too. 
My actions were dishonest and unfair, and I should have known better. I'm also sorry for throwing scissors around the office of people. <laughs> I understand how dangerous that was, and I am grateful no one was hurt. Additionally, I apologize for giving little <laughs> sass sweatshirts you will never wear. That was a waste of resources and not considerate of his needs. <laughs> I also apologize for crushing chips and putting them in KB's box. Yeah. That was a mean and unnecessary prank that was not funny in any way. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't that funny. I thought it was, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry for throwing a football at Nick Terraney there in case race three. That could have caused serious harm, and I'm mm -hmm. lucky no one was injured. Yeah, we are. I know there are many more incidents I need to apologize for, and I'm truly sorry for all of them. I let my emotions get the best of me, and I understand my behavior has been unacceptable. I want to assure you all that I'm taking steps to address these issues and ensure they will never happen again. Again, I am truly sorry for my actions, and I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Sincerely, Rowan. Damn, I forgive you. That was yeah, really nice. I forgive nice. you. Oh. That was heartfelt. Well that Not was considerate of, of needs. That's very thoughtful. That was heartfelt of me. I don't know. That was really good. This is a slippery yeah. slope. Yeah. It's, Why? They're gonna, the Black Mirror technology, when you know they brought the, the deceased loved one back by scraping all of their messages they've ever sent, that that is pretty much this. Yeah, that's bad. Would you do that service? No. Hell yeah, I no. I guess you could have no. like a... I respect death, okay? I'm not trying to trifle with death. Mm. Are you guys? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. A little bit. Would you live bit. forever if you could? San Junipero? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Are you okay, bro? Jesus. Yeah, wow, that was like... <laughs> 10, 15? <laughs> what did y'all think of uh, the Tommy Mullet pick I sent to you guys? Oh, oh wow. You yeah. need to let that thing keep going. It's it's out there. I asked him last night before I took the picture, I said, are you ready for a haircut? And he said, yes. And and I said, oh, really? And he said, yeah, just the bangs, though. <laughs> yeah, good just man. Get, just get it out of my eyes, but you're not touching this What about the here. sides? Uh, he wants it. He just says full mullet. I don't know why he decided on it, but it's 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 out there now. I feel like the sides have to be a little bit crispy. I'm sure the the hair cutter or the hair cutter will know how to do it. Bro, you just sneeze in front of Bargatti like that, bro. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> You'll never work in this industry again. Yep, you're done. I think it looked incredible, but yeah, it looked I think very that, good. Has he, have you shown him mullet spiration? Have you shown him other mullets to maybe? No, I haven't shown him. He doesn't have a muse right now. He's just mm. kind of doing it. Oh, Bosworth. Own. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very authentic mullet. Oh, it's it's the real it's deal. The real deal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 wild. It's yeah. feral. Yeah, a lot of guys are getting like highly stylized mullets, but his is like genuine, hundred percent. You realize how powerless you are to tell somebody to go to bed when they have a mullet. He probably tells you to go to bed. But he was leaning up against the door last night, and he he um, he had no shirt on, and just his his pajama pants, and he was drinking. Uh, he had a coffee mug full of whatever it was. It wasn't coffee, but he's sitting there and he's drinking coffee with a mullet. And I said, "Go to bed, Tommy." And he said, mm. "He drank a coffee." Drink coffee? Yeah. yeah, it looked like he was drinking coffee. He's just drinking uh, a coffee mug. Yeah, mm. I could see Tommy leaning up against the door, whittling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. a big I long piece he, of straw in his mouth. Yeah, just like carving a fucking bust yeah. of like a president that we'd forgotten about. <laughs> no, I don't think I will go to bed. <laughs> oh, I think it's time for you to go to bed, Papa. <laughs> yeah, you got to get him into whittling. Does he have any knives, or what's his knife situation right now? Ah, uh, he's he's strong in knives. Um, Oh, does he got a whittling knife? Or does he even know about whittling? He doesn't know about whittling. Oh, I don't goodness. think his hands are whittle, whittle strong yet. I think they, they'll they get there by trial by fire. You, you can buy a kit. You old man to whittle, though. Well, I, yeah, I you start with a bar of soap. A young man's hands are built for whittling. A bar of soap, probably. A bar of soap, yeah. But well, still, you're doing a knife, though. Is yeah, but that's... A little it'll, knife. Is, is he uh, energy drink age? No. When is that? Uh, 16? 15? Really? I guess it's when you start driving. They have to school. get up and go on their own. That's when. Yeah, that's, when you that's start when driving into high school on your own. That was the Mountain Dew count. Yeah. My first two years, I didn't know caffeine could help me like get through the morning. And it did, huh? Yeah. It launched your ass. Mm -hmm. When did you guys start drinking coffee? Oh, I don't drink coffee. I was right into Love it. energy drinks, full throttle. Really? Coffee later. Which ones? Late college. What? Which which energy drinks? Full throttle. Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar was Rockstar a big was one. Like, I started drinking coffee in ninth grade. I was a junior zookeeper at the Ogilvy Good Zoo. <laughs> I had to work a sleepover party. The kids could, the parents could pay, and the kids could sleep next to the meerkat exhibit. So I had to stay the night, but I stayed up all night because I'd watched the movie White Noise on my portable DVD player while mm. the kids were sleeping. Got too afraid. <laughs> so the next morning, I had the birthday like second half of the birthday party was happening. So I had coffee for the first time. How'd you have it? 
black. Ooh. Damn. Were you like Jesus. never again after that? Or were you no, like, no, I remember yeah. the feeling of it hitting my stomach and it was warm and I was exhausted and it helped me and uh, we had a hell of a birthday party that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fucking bet. Blue and artist came in, uh, got my flirt on with her. Mm. It was a good. It was a good day. Okay. Uh, my gateway drug was frappuccinos. I, I I had frappuccinos before I even knew what an energy drink was. I don't think I even knew about energy drinks until I got to college. But then they had those fucking Mountain Dew ass energy drinks. Oh yeah, what were they called? I uh, uh, wire or some shit. Star, or, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was, Star, yeah. yeah. Star, yeah. That shit was fucking zany. Mix that with some cheap ass vodka. That was a great. That was a great way to launch your night because yeah. it was so metallic and chemical that it completely dwarfed the taste of the vodka. I feel like the more uh, the cheaper the energy drink, the more dangerous the name. Mm. Yeah, mm. for sure. Yeah, live wire. Yeah, volt. You know, yeah. something that makes you, you're going to get shocked or die. Right. Yeah, we had rippets or what it was called. Rippets. Have you yeah, ever seen I remember those in the that. Store? And That's they have the cool. shittiest like graphic design on. We had to deal with the government, and so even in the boonies of Afghanistan, like at a small outpost where there'd only be like twelve of us for a month, they would make sure to ship out like tons of pallets of rippets, and that's what guys would be on posts like just with like fifteen cans of rippets around them, little can, and they taste like straight up like old 1920s medicine like what a waste of ammunition given yeah. like a, a sniper <laughs> yeah. a fucking uh, yeah. shaky, yeah, <laughs> shaky like, hand but ri- we like i feel like the whole military used to live off rippets they were those like, dudes are trying to get them fucked to up in any way they can those dudes yeah. and gals like any kind of buzz oh, yeah. you can get yep there was nos and it was shaped like a nos can in a car right oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that's still yeah. a Blue thing one. is that still rippet's a thing still, yeah rippets still a thing rippet, wow. have you guys ever seen like the pre-workout oh nos was good easy pre-workouts no. I am God. It's called I am God. Yeah, there's, like a, there's a bunch like that. Wait, if everybody's getting like, you know, uh, Spit and Chicklets has the beer and uh, the vodka and we're Coffee. spinning around. Why can't the Yak have an energy drink? I mean, oh. tell a blue low key is. Yeah, shit, you're right. I'm drinking it now. That was great. Oh, yeah. Still. What would we call it? Red Line was It would have to be the most dangerous Scorpion. thing ever. Scorpion. Scorpion. Oh, Scorpion. Scorpion. It's got a fire. When you open it, there's a sharp little thing that that like a needle that hits you right in the lip. Yeah, really. Yeah, you maybe it has a scorpion tail, so it pokes your eye as you're, like you're drinking <laughs> yeah. it. it, rips your face up. Yeah, and it's not yeah. a drink at all, but you you put it in a a needle and you put it in your arm. Yeah, right? yeah, it gives you energy. Oh. Did you start drinking coffee, sass, my boy? Uh, I drank coffee in high school, and then I started having crippling panic attacks, and I stopped drinking it. Yeah, I drink energy drinks, which don't give me. Did that stop the panic attacks? <laughs> All right, <laughs> stopping coffee. <laughs> no, <laughs> so but it helped a lot. Uh, I had my first panic attack ever in seventh grade or eighth grade because of Pepsi Blue. What, the, what was Pepsi Blue again? I, I didn't remember opening it, so I thought I bought it from the convenience store already opened, and I I was very afraid of um, anthrax as a kid, and so I thought somebody sprinkled anthrax in my Pepsi Blue, and I stayed home from school. <laughs> And yeah, did you drink it? Nope. Well, I took one sip and I was like, "Wait, I don't remember the crack sound of me opening this." <laughs> Who was dying from anthrax? Right? I think politicians People were dying from it. Were they mailing the mailroom workers? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Where was it? Uh, was it really going on like that? I was afraid of mail for in envelopes for a while because of that, and then the spider egg story. Yeah. What's that? Scott Ian was killing Someone, like, licked an envelope and got spider eggs in their body. Uh. Like, the, the envelope cut their tongue and, like, the glue had spider eggs. And yeah. yeah. I remember that. I don't know if that's real. I don't think that's real. Oh, COVID had people. Spider was, the spiders were growing yeah. in his arms. <clears throat> yeah. Our teachers gross. were telling us that. That ain't true. Oh, damn. Yeah, COVID had my, my mom would, like, spray down our mail with, like, Lysol. Yeah. My wife did that early on in COVID, Yeah, that was, like, too. everybody yeah. was doing it. They told me. wipe down my groceries down. when I bought them yeah, home. Wipe yeah, wipe the groceries down. She, yeah, my mom would make us put them in, like, one part of the house, and she'd, like, gas them with Lysol for, like, an hour. A yeah, fumigation tent. Yeah. 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 Just, like, scrubbing a fucking apple. <laughs> yeah. With just tons of chemicals. I guess they already have chemicals on them. Mm. Brandon, why don't you drink coffee, though, my boy? I don't know. I just never I never really got into it. I There's don't like multiple hot. Multiple kids. You've got to be tired. I don't like hot drinks. Hot drinks. That's what it is. I don't like hot drinks. I think all drinks should be cold. Not even a good tea? No, I don't like hot drinks. Don't you have an iced coffee? Yeah, what about iced? That a whole genre of that coffee tastes is awful. dedicated to cold coffee. Other than Stella Blue Coffee, that I don't. Iced coffee doesn't taste good. What about iced tea? I don't know. I make iced Stella Blue pretty easily. What? Iced tea? Doesn't that have caffeine? 
Yeah, but that no, that's that's no. that's tea is. I drink sweet tea. That's just sugar water, basically. Sugar, yeah, it's a yeah. conduit for the sugar, not for mm. the caffeine. Right. Yeah. yeah. The tea and the the tea and the caffeine are not the star players in that particular drink. What about your boy? What does your boy drink? My boy. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah, your boy Tommy. Yeah, he's he he, he and uh, actually this. I think all the kids drink drink a little bit of bastardized coffee. My wife keeps a lot of coffee in the house. Your boy's definitely drinking a lot of G Fuel. What's G Fuel? Oh yeah, he'll find out. He'll probably find a whole <laughs> container of it under his bed one day. Man. A gallon jug. I bought him a a good gaming PC for uh, for Christmas. Yeesh. And that probably of, comes with G Fuel. Some of the bitches just deep in deep in it now. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's where he should be. What's he playing? Uh, a, a whole bunch of shit. Obviously, he plays the same stuff he always played, like Fortnite and um, Roblox and all that. But he, uh, he's playing these new games. Uh, I had to get him a Steam thing. Oh, Steam. What is the what? app? Like the uh, the yeah. So now he just plays a bunch of games. I is sat your down. Credit with, card on there? Huh? Is your credit card on? Oh, he spends a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. How much money have you spent on like Roblox in your life? Oh, uh, Robux? Robux. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Uh, oh. uh, uh, probably in the thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Still though, that's that that's his way out of this town. This one horse town, man. You gotta get him on that anytime he's playing outside, you better be like, get Actually, on that console. One of the most interesting things for Tommy is his he has a best friend online that he's never met that he plays video games with all the time. He's right. done it for years. And the kid lives in Chicago. So wow. we're oh. uh, we're excited about that. That's How old cool. is he? Um eleven or twelve. Same nice. same same as Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've 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 checked it. I've checked it. Thirty six. We've had it checked. Yeah. Is it Tommy's best friend? Swipe Probably, yeah. What's his name? Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Just, Tell me more about, about your about. dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we talked houses yesterday and I got three DMs with the act- uh, the exact address of the house I talked no, about. No, they, they found that? Oh, I said not weird. to say even no. Waterside. I said reveal shit. Because you can s- probably search that's Waterside fucking weird, as a man. The, the fact that people DM me and were tweeting me the address. This one guy tweeted at me, hey, is this the address? And that was the address. I'm like... The fuck? What, what are you getting out of life? What, what are you doing with this? What, why, why does that information mean anything to you? Kind of pissed me off. Yeah, it is really weird. It's like really a weird. weird thing to I be think like, it's look what I've impressive. impressive, but that's Give not a skill you no want. No information. Water slide? Keep doing that. Yeah, oh, I said it was like an hour and a half uh, away from the city. Oh, it's good work. Still. I even said the town, so I like, oh. gave it all oh. out. Yeah. I'm not going there now. I'm about to drive up the price on you, yeah. putting a false bid on your ass. You really, you're not going to go there anymore? Uh, well, that was always a long shot anyway. I'm, i got to go out there soon and look at a bunch of houses. Are you going this weekend? I might. Might. Might go. Might fly out Sunday and come back Tuesday. Mm. Nice. Because I don't respect President's Day. Mm. Not anymore. No. Jefferson Davis, my only president. <laughs> Jefferson Davis County. Mm-hmm. The best. Yep. The fucking best. Sa- so they're in Sac City. Iowa, there's a um, there's a liquor store called Sack Liquor. Wow. Yeah. God damn. Might get that T-shirt. I I do buy, they make that? I I think so. Sack Sack, and there's not a Sack City High School. It's like Sack County High School, which isn't as funny as Sack City. Why did that? Why did that so was so appealing to you? I, I, Sack is a term term for testicles too. Yeah, there's a lot Sack of place liquor. names like that. Though. Like, Sack liquor's funny. Tesco City? It's fun. I like oh, it, too. Yeah. If there were a Tesco liquor. City High School, you wouldn't have... like, what? Yeah. Sack, Sack liquor is Sack good. Sack liquor. I uh, have a... Oh, That's Sack liquor. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't, didn't get that. Yeah. Oh, I was Sack liquor. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get that either. A wordplay here, Ron. Uh, yeah. Huh. Um, you see what else Sack is there, man? What, what else? Oh, they have the world's largest popcorn ball. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to Sac City, Iowa. Yeah. Who's who's the, shut the fuck who's up. Who's the competition? <laughs> 9,370 pounds. Holy shit. Open That's Tuesday. 24 hours a day. Sorry, popcorn's yeah. closed. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So why? Do we it's think? it together. You think it's hollow? I don't think it's all the way through. Oh, you don't believe in the popcorn No, ball? I don't believe it's I real. hate you conspiracy theorists. No, I don't believe that. It wouldn't be 9,000 pounds if I don't it believe that it is 9,000 pounds. Also, would that big Brandon? of a... I don't think that much popcorn would be 9,000 pounds. Right. I don't think that's a real thing. Mm. It's kettle corn. Heavier. Yeah, You it can't is. push it in a little Stickier. wheelbarrow. Oh, that's big. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. 
That ain't a ball, though. They got to roll that a little bit more. Brandon, you you live go in this there. town. Go hit it with a hatchet real quick. Tell that me what's in there. It doesn't even look like popcorn. It looks like a big piece of cauliflower when that girl was touching it. It might not even be popcorn. I started following a TikTok account of a guy that just kicks a kicks a stone until it's yeah. perfect yeah. sphere. Yeah. On that. Has, yeah, been on it. Yeah, it's a season treat three. every time, yeah. He's on season three. It's pretty good. Y'all follow TikTok accounts. I just, tic- I just whatever TikTok serves oh, to me, yeah. I watch he it. He just yeah. pops up, and I just see him. Oh, oh yeah. I've never hit the follow button, I don't think. Oh, I do. No. Like, the random small accounts in the middle of nowhere Americana, I love fo- I follow people who live in riv- river houses in, like, the swamps of Georgia. I love that stuff. River My house favorite TikTok is, yes. is, the, uh, the, is the black guy that voices animals. Like cats and dogs, and he and he just that's I I'm a simple man. That's it for you. That's it. I haven't even seen that. All it that, takes, bro. I haven't seen that, dude. Saz, you you been on TikTok recently? No. Whoa. No, I haven't had it in like over a year. Crazy. Best decision I ever made. What happened to that bird? I can't remember his name, but he had an attitude. And oh, it the was, emu. Yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. Is he he died. Dead? He got sick. I know that for sure. Not Stanley. What was well, I hope name? that Limu Emu dies. Yeah. Limu, that, that one Limu. sucks. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. Well, that's CGI, right? I don't care. Yeah. What was it? It was a girl. Knew. She had blonde or brown hair. Yeah, there he is. What's his name? Larry? Billy? Emmanuel? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah, close. I think he got really sick, but it I hope Emmanuel's okay. okay. Well, that's not the same girl. That was though. a person. She's sick. Too. What is that? What is? That's, that's not. That's not her. No, down one. But I don't appreciate no. the. Sick- it looks like a person dressed up as a. I don't know. I guess not. You can take your Brad energy elsewhere. That's terrifying. Take your Brad energy. Oh, that sounds. Elsewhere. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. I don't like that one. That's a dinosaur. That's why Australia there lost the war to him, right? This is it. How big you are. This Everybody is it. You hum- this do not do. Annual. Do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. Emmanuel. <laughs> like Emmanuel. <laughs> don't do it. I'm trying to educate people. But you right know what now, Emmanuel okay? does? He does it. He does it. Can you just stop? Can you- I Can like I- Emmanuel. That was fun. Swaggy farmer. Mm-hmm. She was pretty swagged out for a farmer. It's appropriate for her to wear overalls, also for skateboarders to I'd wear love overalls. To be a fucking farmer. Yeah. So I'm pa- into farmers. Yeah. Overalls are a, a, a good. A good Technical. Did y'all see that big ass skate park in uh, Scottsdale? Uh uh-uh. uh. It was right around the uh, corner from the hotel. It was gigantic. Biggest yeah. one I've ever seen. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Big ass Acres freedom. and acres of, of skate park. Yeah. Interesting. I never skateboarded. Have any of you, Roan, you strike me as someone who used to skate, maybe. I think you're thinking about Nick. I used to in high school. Yeah. That's who you're thinking of. Nick. You see his van socks? See his skatable uh, shoes that he has on right mm-hmm. now. Kate, did you not see these? I should have. You're right. <laughs> I was never any good. I was just, I was a cruiser. I would just cruise. Oh, you were, uh, I was a damn good. Tyo? You were good at cruising. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I th- is that just cruise around. Uh, dynamite? No what? tricks. In a car or just on a skateboard? A skateboard? A skateboard. I could do tricks. I wasn't <laughs> like you. Um, I think cruising is more impressive than tricks. What? Oh, just being able to go for a while yeah. on a skateboard? Standing? It's all impressive. You have to, you have to be able to cruise. Being able to do anything on a skateboard is impressive yeah. to me. You have to be able to cruise if you can do tricks. They get, that's the first step is cruising. That's the most offending y'all have ever got. I was just... Why did y'all get so... Well, that That's like being like, it's easier to stand than do a backflip. Like, you have to stand... It to is easier to stand to do a backflip. Or, I'm sorry, it's easier to do a backflip than stand. Oh fuck! Huh. Brandon wins again. You smart bastard! You MVP of trivia. Yeah. TJ, do we have another uh, yak written for us? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, we yep. before we do that, uh, we got to talk about High Noon mm, Hard okay. Seltzer. We haven't talked about that yet, have we? Oh, sure. The delicious nope. flavors oh, of High Noon. Delicious High Noon. The flavors like peach and lime. Watermelon. Watermelon. That was my next one. You Ooh. took. It's grapefruit, the black cherry. 700 milliliter cans. Oof. Got new big cans of peach and pineapple nice. available. Tall boy. Uh, <laughs> it's made with vodka. <laughs> that was me having one. And not with malt like no, other hard one. seltzers. Kind of. Here. Glug, 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 glug. All done? <laughs> Already. Have You're another. saying glug or gluck? <laughs> gluck, 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 gluck. <laughs> uh, Roan, just a heads up before you have this one. It is delicious and ice cold. Oh, my God. Thank just you a warning. so much. Just a warning. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he swallowed the can. <laughs> they have limited edition flavors like pear and cranberry in the tailgate pack, and they've got kiwi and guava in the pool pack. Uh, it's just a terrific drink to have and just chill with the boys or the girls or, I don't know, whoever you're with. Look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience store or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you or, again, go to, I think, any bar in America right now and you'll you'll find a delicious selection of High Noon. If they don't have High Noon, punch the bartender. Right. Punch the bartender right and the burn mouth. the place to the ground. No, yes. don't do that. But Just punch them. In the punch mouth. them. Yeah. yeah, That's still bad. Threaten arson. Sack liquor? Sack liquor has them? Uh, but sack liquor almost definitely. And we call sack liquor? Let's right. call sack liquor. Yeah, can we call sack liquor? See if they could send us some t-shirts. <laughs> it's like when people paint their barns to say chew mail pouch. That's funny, too. What? Oh, I never <laughs> thought about that. Yeah. yeah, That's everywhere. Chew mail pouch. Yeah, go chew mail pouch. Huh. Hey, working on it. Why? I'm I'm thinking about it like a lion's head cap. Like what? Chew? Oh, I just thought like male is an opposite of female, and then pouch is in like yeah. your balls. Male pouch. Huh. huh. What did that even mean? Male pouch was a brand of chewing tobacco. Uh, oh. Oh, you guys didn't have those barns? Uh, I had no, no idea. What oh my god, I'm about. sorry. Oh, yeah, worms. I thought know. that was a common I thing. Oh, every was... every barn around us has chew right. male pouch painted on the side. No, oh, I didn't know that. Huh. I'm sorry. I <laughs> don't apologize. Yeah, you don't My small worldview strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> don't apologize. All right. Really write a script Kate, for Kate a play Slimes. about a farting contest based on the Barstool Sports Show, The Yak, starring Barstool Sports employee Brandon Walker, KB Nick Rones. Okay. So we should have a long table. Act this. one, scene one. We're in a Hoff Brow house. Stage set up with a long table in the center. The table is filled with various food, drinks, and snacks. Brandon Walker, KB, Nick Terraney, Roan, Lil Sass, and Kate enter on stage one, the stage one by one and take their seats at the table. They all look excited and eager for the competition. All right, folks, let's get this party started. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch seats? Just switch with Sass? KB can't see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for this all week. <laughs> Me too. My stomach is ready for battle. You sure you're up for this, little sass? Not too late to back out. Exactly what you would say. I was born ready, Roan. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. They all, they all begin to dig into their food at the table, eating quickly and drinking lots of carbonated beverages. Scene two. The contestants finish eating and sit back in their chairs, waiting for the contest to begin. Brandon Walker stands up to address his audience. This is, okay. <laughs> we got to scroll down. Welcome to the first ever Yak Farting Contest. Our contestants have been preparing all week for this moment, and now it's time to find out who has the most impressive gas. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's get started. KB, you're up first. KB stands up and takes a deep breath, getting ready to let one rip. He puts his hands on his hips and takes a few <laughs> steps away from the table. Suddenly, he lets out a, lo a loud, long fart that echoes through the room. The audience cheers and applauds. <laughs> that was just a warm-up. <laughs> Oaks. Scene three. The contestant continues with each. The contest continues with each contestant taking their turn. Nick Terrani goes next and releases a long, rumbling fart that nearly knocks over the table. Roan's fart is short but powerful, and Lil Sass manages to produce a series of quick, high-pitched farts that make the audience laugh. <laughs> oh. Kate stands up to take her turn, looking apprehensive. She takes a deep breath and tries to let one go, but nothing comes out. I guess I'm not cut out for this. Don't worry, Kate. You gave it your best shot. Oh. This is so accurate. Kate sits back down, looking embarrassed. The final round of the competition begins with Brandon Walker taking his turn. He stands up, closes his eyes, and concentrates. Suddenly, he lets out a massive fart that shakes the room and sends the audience into a frenzy. That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the contestants look impressed, but wow. a little okay. intimidated. Okay. Scene six. Shook the room. Contest ends with the judges tallying up the scores. Brandon Walker is declared the winner, and Nick Terraney coming in second, and Roan in third. The audience cheers and applauds the, applauds the contestants to take a bow as the contestants take a bow. All right, yeah. that was one for the history books. Thanks for coming out and supporting us. Yeah. And there we go. I, I had no lines. Live. We always have a live audience. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I think huh. 
Yeah, they could have punched it up a little bit yeah, more. They could have punched it up. I think that that's a good baseline. Like, uh, you know, Brandon also had the same line as KB. I almost think we should have made it more heated, more uh, adversarial. Like, yeah, we discovered cheating in the farting competition. <laughs> yeah. or yes. Like that. <laughs> Remember we did? Didn't we do an episode a while ago with like a fart machine? Yeah. Yeah. When Ken Jack put a fart machine. That was in damn good. Air. And I forget who was in the. Was seat. it women? Like women were mad in dog. Here. Yeah, they were like went with it yeah. the whole way and was like, "It's not me." Like fart machines like, always work. Mm -hmm. That was a funny ass episode. Funny ass sode. Good sode. You think that uh, Brandon looks pretty skinny without having an undershirt on? For sure. Stand up, Brandon. I just did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think you're. I think you're a, a not, especially that kind of shirt, not undershirt guy. And wait, have you lost? Have you lost weight with the trainer? No, I'm as oh. big as I've ever been. But you look skinnier yeah, just yeah, by yeah. right. Maybe the layer. it's shifting. Maybe yeah. it's shifting yeah, now. I think it might be going down. Okay. Uh, let's spin the wheel. Yeah. In case we do get that the true fart eliminator, which I think there's a pretty good chance of today. You know y'all are going to have to camp out in my backyard, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think I'm going to hold that till Chicago. AB's got to give 100 bucks. Oh, um, yeah. I, I got to figure out what ML cake is. Or or I've decided I might just – Bingo. I own a house in Mississippi. I could make the backyard in, in Mississippi. Make y'all come down and spend the night there. That would be awesome. Yeah, be what do you mean by awesome? To wet some lines with you. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is a thing. Banana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to figure this out yep. then. Uh, <laughs> what was this? I think we have to just think of a funny name and uh, look up them up if they exist. And if they exist, we prank call them. I thought we're not taking it literal where we just do something to a banana. At one point, that's what. I don't know what this was ever meant to be. <coughs> Maybe what do you, do we come up with the name first and yeah, see, see if they exist? Alan Archangelo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get <guess. laughs> <laughs> You think that, ex that might, <laughs> might not too, though. Might not. Boggs Did this Biega. one get on the wheel? <laughs> Boggs Biega? Boggs Biega. Boggs Biega. Well, we'll give him Alan a call. Archangelo exists, yeah. We'll check them both. <laughs> Spell Biega? Kyle, can uh, you do names that don't have the same, like a name like a Marvel character? B-I-E-G-A. Wait, what? They're always the first. It's a uh, same Alliteration? Letter. Alliteration. I didn't even mean to do that. You did it twice. Yeah. Boggs Biega and Alan Archangelo. <laughs> That's a cool last names. Dude. Yeah. Archangelo's very alliterative. Alan Archangelo. It's <laughs> a sick. Is the, he has to. No. He has to exist because no, it's a sick doesn't. name. I'm picturing him. <laughs> What's he look like? He's he's, uh, whole, he's like posted at a Planet Fitness with a four loco. <laughs> <laughs> I see him with a good ass quaff. Oh, good quaff. Yeah. Uh, Boggs Beck and Boggs Bach. See? Look at that. No, no Biega? No Boggs Biega. <laughs> what the hell is Biega? <laughs> Where the hell did you come up with Biega from? Boggs Biega. What is he Biega? Did, he did seven straight spring breaks. <laughs> he was taking one class a semester. He's like uh, part Cuban or some yeah. shit like that, or like uh -huh. little Dominican. Um, <laughs> all right, Kyle, give us one more name. Can't be alliterative. No, oh, Alan Archangela? Did we do oh, do we, um, why even waste our just time? Just in case there's a... Just in case... <laughs> If you hit it on oh, the first Alan. try with Alan Archangelo. Um, I can't. Those are the two. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two. Oh. I got an uh, Alan Darkangelo. Whoa. <laughs> Who is that? No way. That's even cooler. <laughs> Alan Darkangelo? Alan, that guy's sick. He's 80 plus from Brooklyn. Let's give him a call. Oh, Alan, Alan Darkangelo. Dark <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kyle, just call and ask if it's Alan Archangelo. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. This probably happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, just not the same as Archangelo. Dark Angelo? We still got to call oh. him. Kick, kick Dark Angelo's number over yeah. to Kyle just so we could get him on the horn. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull that. <laughs> Kyle prank calls give me so much anxiety because he doesn't give up. <sighs> <laughs> I know, it's so bad. That's going to be so sick. Fucking Darkangelo. <laughs> Darkangelo is a 92. wild bus. He's 92? 92. 
He'd probably be damn near the same age as Pokemon. Uh, right. Alan Archangelo, he always has an like a mix, an album coming out, but you never. <laughs> there's no proof of him ever rapping. He, um, it was potentially fake. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah, he keeps on releasing. He has his. Album. Wait, he's Wait. an artist. Oh, who? Oh, with a, an apostrophe. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, so he has a Wikipedia. If you take away, it's Alan D. Archangelo. <laughs> it is. Oh, Alan my God. God. Wait, Kyle, are you sure I, you just didn't hear dead. this? He's dead. Oh, he's uh, dead. Oh, I've never heard of this guy. Yes, you have. He's dead. No, I haven't. Dude, you I, had to have just seen his work no, somewhere. All right, I will admit I came up with Alan Archangelo in my head like a year, like two plus years ago. <laughs> and I, I have, he was in Chris Webby's crew. Yeah, I remember he met uh, like a swimmer chick. And he say, I forget the joke he made. But yeah, he's been living in my mind for a while. <laughs> Him and Boggs Biega. That's made. why I was so quick with him. Yeah. You mean the joke you made? <laughs> he made it. I knew these I, were pre-meds. I spent like a week with Boggs Biega. <laughs> <laughs> like plotting out his spring break trips. <laughs> Is it in Chris Webby's crew? <laughs> That's Alan Archangel. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Okay. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Like, do you think he has like a role in the crew? Like he like does the merch or some shit. These are like fictional characters that you came up with. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. You're creative. Yeah, man. Oh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, you're you you fantasize about some weird shit. <laughs> it's not a fantasy. It is. Yes, even, it no, is. that is a yeah, fantasy. Is. Definition of a fantasy. <laughs> oh man. That is truly a fantasy. Did you like either of these guys? No, they're all like. Like the barstool <laughs> whack pack type characters that I like have a crew in my head and we roast them like this, like what we're doing now. So this is kind of cool. I want you guys to roast <laughs> Alan Archangelo more than you're roasting. Well, let's me, do the yeah. roast of Alan Archangelo. His dad probably like owned a car dealership or some shit like that. So like he's not actually thorough and be, he's like part of the crew, but he just right. he's rich. He has like clear, stylish glasses uh, yeah. and like titties, but he wears sweaters. Mm. What kind of car does he drive? I don't, yeah, I got to think of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think like a new Jeep Wrangler. Did you have my Travis submissions? Yeah. Oh my god. You sent god. me three. Or not? Oh, I have a few. A, a few B, more. or C first. I have A, B, C, D. I went through every initialism for the last name. We send the rest. We gotta look at some Nems content too. Visa. Yeah. Travis A. So I had to, if they had a song in it, I had to edit that out for copyright reasons. <laughs> it's Travis A. And they just Did you edit these, Kyle? My wife got COVID. She was unvaccinated. I'm unvaccinated. I took care of her. Still never got COVID. So if you got to be vaccinated and not get it, then how come a lot of us didn't get it then? Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> Travis A. I mean, again, dude, these guys aren't funny, so that's what the best we got. <laughs> Travis B. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's truly the least funniest name in the world. I mean, that's a Travis. Wait, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Wait, TJ, can you pause this really quick? Kyle, all the all the fonts are the same. Did you edit these on your own account? And like, yeah, I had to edit out this, like. <laughs> but the, the did you add like right? that flip to? The I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I added the flip. <laughs> that had a pretty good swipe. Yeah. I didn't know you had editing chops mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> So bad. These know. submissions, or did you just? Find yeah, no, Wait, who's driving? <laughs> Wait, who is driving? <laughs> who is driving? You see, that guy's driving. <laughs> 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 Wait, go back to that Wait. thing. <laughs> I think it's flipped. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> okay. Well, he's driving. driving. He's still <laughs> concerning. A little bit. What's he do here? He does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he just Stop misses the, the nipple completely. Do the dance. Do a dance. Do a dance. Do a dance. about to be pissed off. All right, Travis. So, okay. yeah, abysmal. He's my uh, he's my vote. Travis so C far. was good, if I remember. Wait, it was I just... damn good, Travis C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I 
his dad. That's funny. We have to get him on the show. Say that again. Listen to the squeal. That's, that is the, the prankster's gold. Wow! <laughs> Travis C. Huh. Was that he, stage though? Was that a skit? I don't know. It might have been yeah, a. It skit. sounded like he yelled before. Before, yeah, before the toe and was in his it, ass. And he yeah. was. It was so classic plumber's crack under wow. the sink. Yeah. Yeah. On a yeah. pipe. Might have. That might be a skit. But if that's his so, one's pranks, one skits, and the other ones like rants. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. They all have different buckets. Mm -hmm. Travis like D. Those. Oh, there's more. Is that you? <laughs> Wait, what? Just a little, I don't know, he's trying a funny little mask prank. <laughs> Again, I'm not, I don't think these are good submissions by any means, but this is the best we got so far. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of proof yeah. positive that Travis's aren't that funny, yeah. but I think there's shreds of funniness in them. It's like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think they all have some, but I don't know. There's potential. Yeah, we got to get some of these guys in here. It's like how, how when some people come on Barcelona Idol, they play a song on the first day. It's like, can yeah. you do other stuff than pranks? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you only have prank videos in your wheelhouse? Oh, Travis. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Tien? <laughs> All right, this one's good. <laughs> I've always, yeah. <laughs> I liked that one. I'd added a royalty-free track, and that was a, it was a spooky ballad. It kind of worked. I liked that. Can we rewatch that? It was pretty, fu it was like pretty that. funny. <laughs> I think we can get it. <laughs> Dude, this one rules. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty good. That kind of helped him out. That one's <laughs> awesome. This one's pretty good, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here, <there. laughs> How many more do we have? I think there's just two or three. <laughs> Did you skip F? Oh, uh, F. There was no F. Okay. <laughs> there was no F. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a submission. G. <laughs> there was no F, but every other letter in yeah. alphabetical order. No F submitted. What, what do you want me to do? Bunch of G's and a handful of H's. This is the top G? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Um, he, nothing he submitted was funny. It was just a slideshow of his Instagram picture, so I had to add goofy sounds. So at least add some comedic yeah. affect. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Does he show up funny? <laughs> That's the best we got for Travis G. What do you want me to say? It's not his we're, fault. Yeah, we're working with scrap. Oh, it's not his fault. I think that you've really added something to those. Mm -hmm. And I think he was gay, too, which is dope as far as just... That's what the G stands for. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Gay. This is the last one. <laughs> There we go. Kyle, did you add the farts? Uh, I did, I did. <laughs> I thought that was him. No, okay. It was lame. <laughs> so his funny addition was just the dancing. He was just dancing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just goofy dancing. Yeah, it was pretty silly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kyle, we need to get you over on the production side. You're yeah, wasting your talents and content. <laughs> Honestly. EJ, you think t Kyle could report to you now as a producer, maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was sick. So we got to get those guys in here. What's the best Travis out of them? Oh. The one with the pregnant lady was the yeah. Best. Yeah, that made me laugh the most. By far. I like the prank guy. Yeah, the nipple clip guy. Yeah, none yeah. of the pranks they were <laughs> the most like, hey! underwhelming. None yeah. of them were surprised yeah. he even when he get reactions. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no he laughed like uh, ridiculousness. Like he would burst yeah. out laughing before the shit was even done. Yeah, him acting like the prank worked even though they didn't. Is yeah, he did funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. 
I was just pranking people. That's fucking legendary. Damn, so there is a, a decent amount of submissions. Mm-hmm. TJ, did you get many more than that? Yeah, I have like 50 I have to go through this weekend. Wait, I'm sorry. We just went the whole first hour of the show without talking about Lil Sass's new pants? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, oh yeah. Chris. Not actually that new. You guys would have known that if... Uh, Got these when you boys were out in Phoenix. Ah. What are those massive creases doing? As if it's the first time they've ever been unfolded. Those are these are definitely new. About a week and a half. Okay, I see you. Where'd you get them from? Old Navy. <laughs> nice. Something funny about that, Brandon? I, I I don't know what I expected you to say. Rich boy Brandon's making. Oh, I, where <laughs> else? Where else would I gotten that? Take I don't know what I expected you to say. We have a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Louis old Baton Navy. Pants. Mm. <laughs> he laughs like Travis pranking you. Holy shit. What are you going to do with your long weekend? I might go to Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? When are you going to decide? You have to do it like now. Yeah, you do have to decide now. I'll decide by tomorrow. I'm going to fly Sunday and come back Tuesday if I, if I go. Why Tuesday? We have work on Tuesday. You don't think me flying out to Chicago and finding a house can... Qualify as work related? No. Mm. Are you going to be making content? I mean, I, you have your phone. Sure, I will. Oh, how'd the broad off do? Oh. We never followed what up on that? that. What was the fallout? Were there no, any broads? I didn't, hear, I didn't hear. I only saw a still photo saw of. Photos, uh, yeah. They do talk. Looked like he was winning. I don't know. I yeah. know Nadeau ended up at dinner with Dante afterwards. So. Oh, oh the capo. Oh, his, mm. what, did, what was his caption? It was like some Italian phrase for the captain or something like that. Buca de Beppo. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. I know what uh, Nick's getting into this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm watching NASCAR? No, you're getting into the box in the middle of the room. Oh, yes. Oh. I am getting into Manscaped. Ooh. Oh, I just was unpacking the Manscaped that was on my desk. Uh, I didn't know which box to dive into. The facial products or some of that ball deodorant that they had in there, the crop preserver. All the boxes are cram-packed with really good products, so you really can't go wrong. There's boxer briefs in mine. Really? Yes, dude. There's some boxer briefs from my... My dick and balls. They're now selling beard products too, Ron. That's right. They've gone from waist to face, and you can help replace that bulky razor with their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. This kit is about to change your life. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit has made it easier than ever to craft your signature look. And it all starts with the Beard Hedger. The electric beard hair trimmer is a premium beard sculpting machine. Uh, the cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel with 20 hair cutting lengths with one guard. I want to see what's in there. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. Plus, it's waterproof, so you can get your shave in the shower. Post-trim hygiene. The kit includes beard shampoo plus conditioner. Because all your hair is different, and your beard hair is much more coarse and easier to damage. It's specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote beard health. Beard oil that relieves dryness on both the beard and skin beneath. Beard balm, and, uh, beard balm a pomade that shapes, styles, and moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. So go get 20% off and free shipping with our code YAK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use our code YAK. The Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit, the premier solution to face grooming. Sorry, Fasoli, are we boring you? I just saw a massive yawn in, in there. I don't know what if we're just so boring. I, I don't know. Is that Manscaped ad not super exciting to you? My boy Stephen Chain never yells. I'm pretty sure Fasoli's just in there sucking up to his new boss. Za? One more over. TJ? Uh-huh. Oh. No uh, way. Yep. There's been a restructure. Interesting. No so KB and Fasoli are both reporting, both reporting to TJ? To TJ. Yeah. Fine by me. No way. <laughs> TJ, are you a good boss? I hope so. Fuck yeah. I hope so, too, for Fasoli's sake. For Fasoli's uh, sake. Not to snitch on him, but he was just yawning re really big. Mm. That brings down morale of us. You know this is not This is two-way glass. We could see in there. Our egos are fragile as hell, and we right. acknowledge them at all times. Speaking of which, Fasoli, do you... At dinner? Uh, uh, apologies for the AirPods. I don't believe they're, f they're real. It's been proven. By? Oh. Who? I bought them in an Apple box. They were at the <laughs> Verizon store. As Jay said they were. You'll never beat Fasoli. Why are you saying they ain't? I've never seen AirPods with a light on the side of them. What? 
Are they fake? Uh, oh, I've never seen that. Same. Are these fake? Oh, those huh? are just the newer version. No. Oh, they're just the newest or the best ones. <laughs> okay, I apologize. Zaha has the same one. Zaha has the yeah, same yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You were laughing around with your crew behind my back about it. You were like, oh, I knew those fake ass <laughs> AirPods were yours. We were all laughing about it. No. You texted me and I grabbed them and there was one person and I laughed. Did you after guys I share a laugh? Message. Who was it? Mm. Who? Who, was you, who were you laughing with about my fake AirPods? Stefan. Did oh no, Stephen! Tell, tell him <laughs> they're real. Stephen. Tell them, tell him they're real. I will go tell them they're real. Thank you. Apologies. Valentine's looked sublime though. Thanks. Yours did well. Thank the you. dessert looked incredible. Where did you? Where? Where did you go? What'd you eat? A little Italy. Oh, very nice. Mm. Right by Chinatown. <laughs> Surrounded by. Yeah. True. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You did like a crawl or just what? No, just dinner. It no crawl. Awesome. It looked awesome. What, what restaurant? Uh, what was it? Uh, duh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that didn't. Sorry, that. That's the sound for Soli makes when he's thinking. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, boss. <laughs> uh, uh. That's what happens. My brain just shuts off. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I don't remember dinner or restaurant names. Mm. No, I don't either. What is the Brandon? Do the the teacher and Charlie Brown do that? <clears throat> I forgot what was it. I, yeah. Why did you ask me to do it? Oh no. Okay. You're Charlie Brown's age. Eight, eight years old. How old is Charlie Brown's bald ass? Six. Gotta be old. No. Yeah. Oh, he's older. Than, he's older than six. No, he's six. What? Uh, he's got to be. He's a ten. I would say he's ten. Six. Is he six? Yeah. All right, I believe you. Who's the oldest of uh, Bart Simpson, Cartman, and uh, Charlie Brown? Um, Cartman's in Bart. fourth grade. Oh, co- Bart. Uh, Barry Bart. Simpson. Bart Simpson. Yeah. How old is he? Twelve. Eleven. No. What is, well, Lisa's like. 10? Is he ten? Lisa's eight. No way. He's oh, twelve. Yeah. He's no not way, twelve. He's... I think he's eleven. Did Charlie Brown's. So we never Four find years out. Old? Eight, eight years old. Oh, it says he's set. That's, that's oh, so they aged him at yeah. the beginning and they stopped aging him. Huh. It says three to six. Three years old, and he's got a fucking lemonade stand. He's ten. Bart's ten. Yeah, at least he's eight. Yeah, that makes oh, sense. This is a that's a good trivia question. Cartman's yeah, what ten too? Is he? Yeah. Ten. Cartman's ten. Who do you think uh, wins? Why is that penis size for Cartman? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just right there. <coughs> they did, there was Charlie episode. Brown has to be the lamest six-year-old of all time. What? What's, what's lame about Charlie Brown? He's got a crew. He's, he's got depression. anxiety. He's, got, wha- he's got wacker dudes six in his crew. Old. And he's like, capitalism is the downfall of society. He's like Jaden Smith. Yeah, he is. He's exactly like Jaden Smith. Charlie like, Brown? What about Pigpen yeah. and Lin- Linus is the bitch. Linus, Linus, Linus is the is bitch. House. Pigpen rocks. Linus, Linus is a bitch. I went to a Pigpen's just broke. A Peanuts play once, but it was all grown adults playing the kids, and the man was walking around on stage with a blankie sucking his thumb as Linus. I was in that play in college. It was troubling. A dog eats, or whatever, God eats yeah. dog or some shit Were like you Linus? That. I didn't love it. I was the I was Pigpen, and he grows up to be like scared of germs or some shit. So I had huh. to eat ch- uh, potato chips with chopsticks. Who was the piano player? Schroeder. Schroeder. Schroeder rocked. He was a uh, yeah. Yeah, he was cool. He was awesome. I know he was pussy. a Nazi. It was the fifties. <laughs> Schroeder. Uh-oh. What? Uh oh. Schroeder. Schroeder got pussy. Sh- yes. But he was mm. definitely a Nazi though. I don't know. Or maybe a German Jew. No, let's talk about the women. Lucy, what's her name? Lucy. Lucy, and what's the other one? Patty or something? Patty. Marcy, Charlie was there? Marcy? Marcy, Patty. Marcy and Pat. Marcy was always hanging around Patty, and they were lesbians. No, you're thinking of Patty and Thelma. No, Marcy and Patty were lesbians, right? No, because Patty and Chuck B were going to end up together. But I thought Marcy oh, yeah. was always hanging around Patty, trying to, trying to, right? Wait, what Marcy might have Chuck been? B. Char- Charlie Brown. Chuck uh, B from uh, Public uh, Enemy. Chuck B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuck. There's a black bro on there too, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Franklin. Uh, Franklin. Franklin. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Those oh. are good names. Yeah, they are. Timeless. I don't think I've ever seen any of the other ones aside for Charlie Brown's Christmas. There's one where they go to pumpkin? France. Oh, I think I've seen the pumpkin one. Remember the Chateau one? Where they're uh, like sent to France like what? on their own? Are you thinking of Madeline? They did a race, no. right? They did the, the Great Race or something? Charlie Brown. We love our bread. <laughs> we love our butter. You guys ever watch Madeline? Nah, I was a uh, Wallace and Gromit kid. 
How old was Madeline? This shit. What? I don't know what Madeline, Madeline is. Madeline? Yeah. She's a little, little French, French kid. She had yeah. Ivy growing up her school. She lived with the nuns, right? Yeah. Or was it like a yes. boarding school for girls? Yeah, she lived with nuns? Like she, uh, she might have been an orphan or some shit. Yeah. Huh. Damn. Madeline. Not a lot of stories about 12-year-olds. <clears throat> 10-year-olds are significantly more interesting. How than old was fucking about. Wolfgang? He's younger than you think. Who? Who's, Who's Wolfgang? Amadeus? Bully from Hey Arnold. Oh, he's older than you'd think. Yeah. Oh, how old was Arnold? Eighth grade? No. Hell no. He was, uh, he was probably grade. S- Arnold? He was third grade, and he was about three foot four, and then Wolfgang was a fourth grader, one grade, and he was six foot tall. Yeah, chin hair. Arnold had to be older than that. Walking around. Had, like, I'm the same age. We're the same age as Stu Pickles now. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Recess was fourth graders, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it might have been. Pepperan was seventh grade. Arnold Anderson. Shortman. Yeah, she was younger than that. Pepperan? Yeah. Much too cool for seventh grade. Don't play me. She's one in a million. <laughs> that was the best theme song. Pepperan, Pepperan. Much too cool for seventh grade. No, much too cool for seventh grade. She's like one in a million. Me and Sass are missing this on other sides of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sass, what was the big one for you growing up? Like the cartoon you would consider like the most sticks with you? I, I, SpongeBob. Oh yeah. That's how old was he? How old SpongeBob? He's like thirty six, right? Yeah, yeah. He's old. <laughs> I don't know. I don't and know. how old Steamboat Willie? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. No, he was driving. A, he was driving a boat. So he's a captain of a steamboat. Yeah. So he was. He was twenty two. I bet he was older than that. Mm. As a captain, yeah, he couldn't be cat. He didn't know he made captain at twenty two. He's probably still a deckhand. Do we know that he was a captain? Is he steering? Did he commandeer the ship? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the plot of Steamboat Willie. I don't either. Mm-mm. Was there a plot? Certainly. I just remember that video game where it starts with Steamboat Willie, that Disney video game on like Sega. Does anyone remember this? I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't. Cool reference by me. Y'all ever played Cuphead? Yeah. Ah. Really, really good animation. It's hard. It is hard. It's one of the hardest games. It's impossible. Yeah, it's a classic Japanese run and gun. Tommy, Tommy can beat a lot of it. I can't touch it. I can't beat He put me on one board. I can't do anything. It's Bullet really, really well made, though. Bullet hell, yeah. Does he fuck with Japanese culture like that? It's not a Japanese game, but it's like inspired by like those games. Mm. It's almost like a 20s American. It's all, it's all hand-drawn or something? Yeah. Something? I don't know how that works. That's one of the more simple concepts to understand. In a game, though? Yeah, it's just like a, sell, like a mm. drawing frame by frame, like a an old-timey cartoon. So yeah. there's a little man in your TV... Yeah. Just drawing all the frames rapidly and putting them up against there the box. Why don't you say it like that? Should have. If I had fifty million dollars, I would take all of us to Japan. What if you had ten million? No. Mm. I know. Has to be fifty. Fifty million dollars. And so exact. Would we go to Tokyo and hang out, or would we go to like rural Japan and really get into the culture? Or? You have to go. We to would Tokyo. talk about it. We would talk about it all. I'd like to go to some wrestling shows. I assume you're gonna have fifty million dollars at some point, so I'd like to go ahead and plan this. I, think I will, but uh, it would be uh, it would be awesome. Go to have a day off in Kyoto. Mm, Kyoto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah, I have fifty Very million dollars. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I've been, yeah. How much? I have fifty. Where are you gonna take us? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Uh, I'm serious. Machu Picchu. Yeah, sure, fun. Uruguay. I want to go to Nepal. Okay. Oh, did you, did you I want to see, see the plane yeah, that tried going to Nepal. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, I did too. Yeah. yeah that we might need horrifying. a train to Nepal. Yeah, filled with hazardous chemicals. What happened to the plane going to Nepal? It, cra- it crashed. It crashed hard. Nick. Crashed. What? I avoid. I have every. I think I I've, sent it to the group chat while you were at the airport and told you. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I was on the plane. It's a live stream of it. Go, like going. No, on. I uh I have the word crash and plane and. Even turbulence like muted on. Yeah. yeah. A guy was watching plane crashes on the plane two rows ahead of me in the aisle as we were about to take oh. off. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I almost beat his ass. You should have. You should have beat his ass. I should almost beat the shit out of his ass. <laughs> 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 I was really thinking about doing it. That isn't insane. That should be illegal. Yeah. yeah. Why was he doing that? Probably trying to scare other people. Yeah. He was like a, gr- like a businessman. That's how he got his rocks off. That's how he got his jollies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. off by giving yeah. me a fright. Don't like that. I don't people like shouldn't be giving people frights. I don't yeah. like being fragile enough to be frightened by people. Now the Pepper Ann song is fucking. I'm just sitting here singing it. <laughs>
in my head. What's Pepper Ann? She's too cool for seventh grade. Pepperan. She came after uh, recess. Grade. They would go back to back on like UPN and shit. You don't have to yeah. explain. Mm-hmm. Recess like rocked. 15 minute cartoons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your name TJ in recess. Main character. Yes, TJ Detweiler. Mm-hmm. I had the Muppet yeah. Babies. You had the Muppet Babies? Yeah. That song was a dude that... Pee Wee's Playhouse. Pee Wee's Playhouse is funny. Yeah. yeah, it was. He had an Archie and Jughead. When did those come out? A long time ago. In the 40s? Did you fuck with, uh, when you were a newspaper man, did you fuck with the cartoons, the, the funny papers? No, that's the one page you didn't have to worry about. Why? That's all... Automated. That's all. Um, you just buy those. I used to love Family Circus. Oh, oh yeah. I related. Mm-hmm. Didn't like Marmaduke. I liked Foxtrot. I liked Dilbert. <laughs> like Dilbert. <laughs> Why? Anybody, That's awesome. Anybody a <laughs> Beetle Bailey? <laughs> Beetle Bailey guy? Nah. Oh, Sophie Smith. I like them. Was Beetle Bailey related to? So, there was a comic universe. Beetle Bailey was the cousin of some some other comic, right? Hagar the Horrible. Maybe because it was the same style. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I embarrassingly read a lot of Kathy. <laughs> you read oh, a lot of Kathy. What's that? <laughs> she was like a she was like a middle aged woman who yeah. drank yeah. and yeah. like worked at an office. Can you pull her up. Like, oh, she she was like uh, high stress before high stress was a thing. Yeah. Like Tina all, uh, Fey's character in Thirty Rock is very Kath Kathy. Are you guys all Calvin and Hobbes? Uh, no, I didn't oh, like okay. Calvin and Hobbes. I like Calvin and Hobbes. I loved Calvin. I never it's had it. It's the best. I never had it. Yeah, I used to have a bunch of books. Calvin and Hobbes. Far side. Far side. Yes, bro. Gary far side's too. awesome. That was incredible. That was our big yeah. bathroom book growing up. We had a huge thing of the far side oh, right across from the toilet. Awesome. Far yeah. side galleries, those big ones. Matt and Dilbert. To this day, I always say to Pat, like when we encounter a lady out, whatever, or I see like a purple PT cruiser, or I see like, I don't know, but I call them Kathy's. Like people talk about Karen's, but I'm like that lady, or I don't know. I can't explain it. But what Kath- are some of the characteristics of a Kathy? A Kathy is. Rasp. Like the woman in Smoker's Office Space ass. who says "Case of the Moon Days," like that's a Kathy lady. I think she even has a Kathy cartoon in her thing. Do like, we have any certain... Kathys in this office, or you don't want to say? I'm thinking Smoker's voice, rasp, yeah, raspy, uh, untamed yeah. hair, a little bit. Yeah, just ladies. There's a certain if you think Kathy is funny, you're a very specific kind of person. That I just know it when I see it. I can't explain it. Well, how many wine, wine people live, laugh, love type yes, of shit? Yeah. Like uh, just wine moms. Like Wine uh, mom energy, but older, like a slightly older generation. How many of the comic strips were just sitting there in every newspaper and nobody ever laughed at them at all? It was like Non Sequitur was one. There was one with like an old Lockhorns. radio DJ that I didn't think was, I never got. People were, you guys were laughing at these? I would laugh. I used to. I never, I never, For some, like, I would I laugh I never at. got the art. Our side is funny. I, I don't know what Rob's makes a funny. good... Slylock Fox was a good one oh. for solving mysteries. Yeah. I didn't like Dick Tracy, though. Slylock is a little bit dangerous. So what's like? The, what's say. one of the funniest ever... What's it sound like? Farside. What, no, what's the one individual one that's... Uh, my favorite really? Farside is where oh. a spider is on a web, and he surprises a guy, and he has a bag, and, and, and he says, did I scare you or what? And the, the spider has shit himself. The way I said it isn't funny at all, but it's, it's, it's tough to yeah. convey comics. Yeah, <laughs> but he would just do one. Fr- he would be like a single frame a lot of the time. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was the clever. Far side, and it would be like oh, side, for the spider, gifted, spider. and the kids like pushing the pool door. Yeah, the midday school like for the gifted. Yeah. Everyone describe in detail your favorite comic. Right. For the. <laughs> so I was a big Mad Magazine kid too. You yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Fracked? No. No, no I didn't know. I didn't know anything about magazine. that. Oh. How long did that run? It was like a... I think Cracked was the knockoff Mad Magazine. Yeah, they were mm-hmm. parallel for funny guys to write. Oh, I didn't like Mad Magazine because I got made fun of for being Alfred E. Newman a lot. <laughs> Ears. Oh, there that he is. is cute. Hey, Bob, did I scare you or what? And it's... He shit himself. That's a good one. Okay. No, it's funny. It's cute. I, I don't like feel it. Bob, the na- the, his name being Bob is funny. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I don't. No, I don't get it. like. Did you, yeah. Would you read that and be like, yeah. laugh? Yeah. Comics are more of like an, an exhale. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's funny. They're like borderline like riddles. That's funny. You're like, Shit. oh, I get it. Yeah, that's oh, all it is. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you only laugh if you had to like show someone else that you got it. Even like, <laughs> that's that's too much. It's more like a. I think the first time I saw that one, I I, I, really, I, I laughed hysterically. Uh. My ribs hurt. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, what? That's, that's hilarious. I mean, the internet wasn't around. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's that's, that's what we had. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what you had. Like so, you know, a doctor's office. There was a book, a far side gallery. You pick it up, and there are four to each page, and and it was fucking funny. Uh. 
I think I used That's to have crazy. like a far side the, daily calendar. The Mid I had that. The Midvale School for the Gifted is like on every is in a lot of teachers' rooms or something. Yes. Mm hmm. Used to be a big thing. Of course, making fun of handicapped children. Well, it wasn't. I don't think it was implied that that shit kid was handicapped, was it? it was, he was gifted. He was extra smart, and yeah. it was that he didn't know to pull the push stupid. door. So you can be smart, but no common sense. Huh. Pepper in, pepper in. That's uh, what Gary Larson's doing these days. Is he alive? I hope so. I'm sure he is. Yeah. Who was the other one that was like fucking? Comic, comic strip writers don't die young. The Dilbert comic strip yeah, writer. Yeah. He like married a super hot 20-year-old. I think they're divorced already. Charles Schultz lived to like 90. Yeah. Who, who wrote Garfield? What's his name? Jim Scott. Jim Davis? Scott Davis. Jim, Jim Davis, Davis, right? Yeah. He's still kicking. Dr. Seuss cheated on yeah, his he's, wife. He's catching some flack, I think. Jim Davis? Davis? Still, like, for recent works. Oh. Let me see. Y'all ever read Garfield minus Garfield? No. no is that the Gar – it's a Twitter account, right? It's a blog. It's a, it was a blog, and it announced Twitter. But it just takes uh, Garfield out and just has the, the man, John, talking. And it's it reveals a haunted man. Ah. Uh, really? Yeah. Because the cat – can't talk obviously so in real life if john's talking to the cat nobody's talking back so they just take the cat out and you see what he's actually saying what kind of shit does he say um it's like existential crises yeah stuff like that mm. there's a uh, twitter account i think called pipe garfield and so it's this one garfield comic strip that it ends with garfield just smoking this pipe but they put it at the end frame of all garfield comic strips oh. and it makes them all funnier look at him oh that's sad just take garfield out and he's just <laughs> <laughs> He's just a sad guy. Aww. That's sad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Poor bastard. Um All right. Yeah, you know who has a ton of energy. Oh. Uh a vehicle that goes very fast. Huh? Talking about <laughs> some sort of car. Oh, I'm you talking about high energy car. Nick, do you have any clue? got to be NASCAR, right? Uh, it's NASCAR. Yeah, okay. Yep. Sure is. Am I reading? Oh, uh, you sound you, you <laughs> really good. Yeah, the ball's in your court. <laughs> <laughs> well, tune into Fox at 2.30 Eastern time on February 19th for the Daytona 500. Spider got, who got him? MP got him that sick jacket, the M&M NASCAR jacket today. He's wearing around the office. The 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Daytona 500 is considered the most prestigious and important race in NASCAR and has opened the NASCAR season every February since 1982. This year, Jimmy Johnson will make his NASCAR Cup Series return, first time since 2020, and Travis Pastrana is attempting to qualify for the Daytona 500. The 19th at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the Daytona 500 NASCAR. <laughs> I got used to go, well, at the races, the thing I like to do is you get your friend to hold the camera kind of far and you open your mouth, uh, uh and then they record video and it makes it look like you're eating all the cars. Like they come around the track and it's like, rawr, rawr. we got to get you to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I bet you <laughs> yeah, got something yeah, crazy yeah. up your side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. It's pretty cool. We got to get oh. Kate to Pisa. Yeah. Somebody's got to poke a banana. Is that what we're doing with that? I just ate a banana. I poked a whole banana into my fucking throat. We can't just put it on the pile? Yeah, let's, let's do it on Tuesday. Put it on the pile. What, are we going to poke a banana in here, or should we just spin a wheel and one person pokes a banana and that's the show? That's it. Yeah, we can do it. All right, let's spin it. All a right, well, up. Let's do Eliminator. I'll be pissed if it's me. <laughs> I feel like it'd be gross if we all had to poke the same banana hole. I'm going to go get the banana. Okay. It'll probably be me. The rich get richer. Oh, look behind you. Already has a banana. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's probably ah. the best. <laughs> oh, is this eliminator? What are we poking it with? Just right here? Thank you. Fucking cock. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did this end up on the wheel? Was I? I don't right? remember. Looks like I'm safe. Were you here for poking anything? Yeah, we all were. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stop throwing the banana because you're going to ruin the banana. No, I won't ruin it. Let's oh. not flip the banana. <laughs> this might end somebody's career today. 
Oh my god. What a nice fall palette. Yeah, it is a oh. Look at that. Oh, I can smell. Notice how late the sun's starting to set. Yep. No, I love, like it. It. Really love it. Love it, love it. Also 65 degrees out too. Yeah. Beautiful. Crazy. Thought we were going to go the whole winter without snow, but I think there's snow in the forecast for next week. No way. Oh. Oh, that could go away. Yeah. Would this be the first year ever we got like no snow? Yeah, this is yeah. it's crazy. But right, other so places the around the country are getting lots of snow. It's like going across the south today. There's a ton of huge, real bad storms. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, sass. Sass, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm supposed to. So I'm just supposed to poke the banana. I think you just poke it. Okay, can I see the banana? Sure. I'm ready to flip it. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this round. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta open the banana. <clears throat> Why? Or can we see if can poke through the skin? It doesn't say open. It doesn't say poke peeled. Sass is not game for anything. <laughs> yeah, but you're poking a peel. It's you're the easiest thing ever. Just uh, I'll poke the banana. I mean, I don't. I just don't understand what the point of this. Like what? Oh, fuck. I'd like to oh, see you poke, poke the it. tip. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> penetrate. It Pen you got to penetrate it, bro. Go in. No, that's you not. Have, you have to no. penetrate it without it breaking. Oh, that's not a poke. Yeah, I thought your finger had to go in through the top all the way in. Through the top? Yeah, yeah, like through and curved. Yeah, you got to get up to not. Okay. Oh. Poke that it. was awesome. That was <laughs> great. Great job. Sass didn't even fucking poke the banana. <laughs> Such <laughs> fucking bullshit. Lazy ass. Dave, <laughs> hire me. I'll poke as I'll poke three times as many bananas yeah. for half the price. I was on that show. I'd be poking bananas. He doesn't even fucking get how good of a job he has. <laughs> I'd be poking God, bananas all fucking day. Did you just wipe it on your sock? <laughs> I don't know where else to wipe it. <laughs> About this piece of paper. I gotta go though. I gotta go film something. All right, all right man. All right. All right. Yeah. Bye. See you all on Tuesday. Yeah. Thanks for listening. And yeah. Break. Happy birthday, Chris Gallo. See you on Tuesday. Happy President's Day. <laughs>